今誒、呃、今堂由官內爺基金會主辦嘅梁俊個人作品展覽。首先請大家以熱烈嘅掌聲歡迎本誒、呃、本澳年青藝術家梁俊先生為大家講幾句話。Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome all of you to uh present at the Liang Jun exhibition organized by Rui Gunya Foundation. Uh, let's hear a few words from Liang Jun. Thank 係希望有別於以往我創作嗰啲習慣嘅，即係我以往都係以雕塑啊或者繪畫為主。咁今次嘅作品其實大多數有啲係非視覺嘅，或者係非敘事啊、非邏輯性嘅作品。咁可能會比較要花時間理解啦。咁就誒、呃、希望係有別於以往嘅創作方式啦，同埋都係對自己嘅挑戰同探索。咁啊，大家希望各位。用心欣賞，如果有機會，我哋誒交流一下，溝通一下。多謝各位。係誒，李電長問 ，I will briefly into and translate John's introduction into English. Uh, if I miss anything, please don't mind. Uh, Mr. Leung would like to thank uh everyone for supporting this uh exhibition. This is a very rare opportunity for him. And since this is the first time he have his own exhibition, uh, but it's quite different from his work. He will, uh, uh, this time the, he want to explore something new, like it was non-narrative and non-logical way. So that's why the name of the exhibition will be where Hello was decided for, to show the relationship among artists, artwork, and audience in an unfamiliar context so that we will extend in multi, multi, multi-dimension spaces, light or two-dimension, three-dimension, and non-physical works. So let's enjoy. And uh, later time, when uh, Mr. Leung will guide us for a tour, and he will give an uh, introduction for each piece of the work. So. Uh, 而家咧嗰個剪彩儀式就開始㗎啦。咁今晚、呃、首先我哋有請我哋今晚嘅主理嘉賓誒、呃、進行今次呢個簡單而隆重嘅剪彩儀式、呃。首先我哋想請到澳門特區政府文化局視覺藝術發展處代處長李向雄女士，有請。<笑> to start our open ceremony, we would like to、呃 Introduce uh, Miss Liang Xiang, uh, Li Xiang Hong uh, to present for the ribbon, ribbon cutting. And uh, he's, she's the representative for Deputy and uh, Deputy Director of uh, Division of Visual Art for Macau Cultural Affairs Bureau. Uh, 跟住呢，我哋有請澳門美術協會代表黃家龍先生 ，Mr. 黃家龍。The representative of Macau Artists Association. 跟住嚟，我想請誒我哋官內兒先誒官內兒基金會嘅主席官內兒先生誒 ，please welcome Dr. Rui Gunya, President of Rui Gunya Association. 最後今晚我哋誒嘅主角啦，阿梁俊先生啦，一齊參加今今堂嘅剪彩。Okay, finally, we will invite John. John is here, and also I think 誒、uh,。Dr. Rui Gunya would like to deliver, deliver a few, a few words. words. Okay. Uh, just a few words. First, to thank the artist to choose this place to show. It's exactly what the foundation wants, is to open to the young people, for people from Macau, to show that we have talents that can uh, show their works and, uh, and, uh, and uh, incentive the other ones the young people, the grown-up, to produce and to bring out things that they have. Thank you for your initiative. 
and you are welcome at this house. Second, I have to thank the Institute Cultural uh, to be present uh, today and Mr. Hock also uh, to attend this uh, opening that is important for us, that uh, your presence is a big support that we are trying to do something useful for Macau and that uh, all together we can show something useful. Thank you. 多謝官生。誒、呃，我哋而家做個大合照先啊！咁就誒誒、呃、四位誒、呃、主要嘅嘉賓一齊行埋一齊，而大家影影幅相啊。OK， 請留意鏡頭。好啦，跟住咧，其他嘅今日嘅參與者都可以一齊啊加入金堂金堂嘅合照啦啊！啊啊，系啦，大家各位朋友都可以嘅啊，小梁、阿梁生一齐啦，啊啊啊,啊，等埋梁生先啊 ，OK， 梁生。多謝咁多位。咁而家阿梁生咧會帶大家誒、呃、去參觀佢個作品。OK， 誒、呃、，Mr. Leung will will guide will lead a little tour around his work so that he she she will give an introduction, right? OK, let's go ahead. Okay, I just have a short trip about how to uh, comprehend about every works of this exhibition. So uh, this one is like a piece of uh, Chinese calligraphy to mix up with the painting on the mixed media. Like it's a uh, responses of the name of this exhibition. So what is uh, hello, ni hao. So what is the sentence meaning of this. So this is like a mixed media work. And like this one, like a traditional two-dimensional painting with the Western uh, painting principle. It's also a contrast with the other works. Like some of that work is vertical or uh, sculpture or some installation video. And this one is a very sharp contrast with the other works uh, 2D Western painting. And this one is a set of the photos that I'm trying to experiment about what's the significance of phot photography because photography is a kind of art for capture the light and darkness to show what's the images, what we can see and record it. But this is a uh, uh, a coincidence that something, someone to capture the dark, uh, a totally dark image. So I just copy that uh, again and again. Actually, the second photo is the copy of the first one. The third one is the copy of the second one. So this is an experiment about what is the true photography. So it's like I playing the role as a sculptor to do a photography work, so. <clears throat> and, and these two pieces is a kind of, uh, seems, like a, seems like a traditional painting, but actually it's a, a, a population of the other internet photos. Like I just searched a photography's work or I searched the pictures in a social network. And actually we have no uh, right and duty to uh, to send or to explore our images in the internet. So I just want to send a question and I want to ask if I copy or just uh, modify a little bit details or some content of the images, is that images become a new content or still is a, a copy, is a legal uh, motion of that? That's the question I want to ask about these two pieces. 
And here's some three-dimensional work about uh, the experiment and the exploration about sculpture, because I, I, I major sculpture for many years. So this one actually is like a self-portrait, a self-statue uh, of myself, but it's, it's interesting to I just copy and the mold of my face, but actually the facial impressionism is not, is not exactly the same. I just uh, try to write the shadow, but actually never write any shadow or, or the, the light on the sculpture. So that's a, that's a new experiment for me to how to deal with the relationship of painting and sculpture. And this one is, is also an experiment about for the traditional sculpture because uh, generally we will see and visit the museum and gallery, we can see the sculpture with a base, but the base is just the function to support the sculpture. But actually this one, uh, uh, the sculpture, the base is the sculpture itself. And I hope people could hold it on the hand to to play with it. So this is um, the significance was this set work because generally the sculpture should be uh, set in a certain space or just for visiting. And this one, I hope the audience could uh, take part in this works. And this one is, is very um, interesting. Many people, after they, they see this set, they will ask me, what, what, is, what is this? This is a prize you want to show how good you are, or you just buy something by Taobao, or, or, or is that true? So this is the question that I want to ask. The prize, if I produce a prize or award for myself, so, is that a sculpture, or is that a, a installation, or is that a real award or a real prize for someone? So I think that's very interesting because some, sometimes we will doubt a sculpture is that the same as the new artifact, or the, is that a real stuff that we can see? So here is a is a question I want to ask: Is that a sculpture or is that a award? Could I produce a real award for myself? So, and this one is also, many people will ask, do you forget to put your works on the, on the platform? But actually, we are staying within the work right now because if you take off your devices or your phone, you can connect to with the Wi-Fi hack. So what's a hack? I always, uh, in my understanding, I think hug is like a very friendly motion, like we are staying in within my work. So this a hug. I'm trying to to produce a hug. When people can come in, you can stay within this digital and uh, unseen hug. Yeah. And this one is like my. Um, another sculpture I, is totally traditional sculpture. I just made it with the clay. Uh, but this one is, uh, I'm trying to ask myself, what is the life and the destiny? So I, I hope this sculpture could have the uh, influence with the space that we are staying in. So I'm trying to, with connected with the rope, with uh, the space stuff, and this time I'm trying to buy alarm. So sometimes I think it's very weird and interesting to uh, let your work to uh, produce a different, diverse significance, meaning to uh, in the different spaces. So I, I think it's very uh, important for me to doing a sculpture. And the last two pieces, maybe I could see, uh, we could have a look about this video. Actually, this video is just a part of that, of my work. 
uh, the exact one is uh, exist in the internet. So we could see a uh, search or the length on that uh, text. That's the work I incorporated with my two artist friend. So, but this is a bit long. Later, we will have a look. So the last two works over there is just a place we took the photos. The first one, I'm trying to uh, make a work, how to uh, make a new work about what is the Chinese calligraphy and, uh, and a product we always use. Like you can see, that's a welcome, the base, the word of that. But I'm trying to write with the white base and black word on the painting. So sometimes we will always trying to uh, understand what we have understood. So the first impressionism of this is always we are looking at the word that we knew. So that's the question I want to do is, what's the context? What is the forms? And this one is, I have been working for many years. Actually, I call it a 21st century self-portrait. I call it, and it uh, seems like a QR code. Exactly, it is a QR code. But I think that's very interesting to, like we always like to paint with something in the real life. Like we could see something, we write it on as a painting or drawing. But this one, I have nothing true to, to paint. It's a QR code, it's a digital image. So I hope if I can show part of myself with this self-portrait as this way by a traditional form of oil painting. So I think that's all the introduction about all of my works. And if you have any problems of you're still interested in to have a look, welcome to talk with me. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So uh, we have prepared some refreshment over there. Uh, please enjoy yourself. Okay. Uh,